Hey guys, welcome to uh, AC. Uh, sorry, the Western Esports Conference finals match between UC Santa Barbara and University of Arizona. I am Aaron Yodroid Yoder here with my co caster Flag. Say hello to the people. Hi. Hello, people. Here we go, getting into the band phase really quick. Already over on the side of uh, Arizona, we have Skarner and Anivia banned out. And uh, Santa Barbara already banning out the Twitch and Azir. Yeah, pretty solid. I, I, it's no surprise to me to see the Azir and the Twitch banned out so early, especially with the recent buffs to um, uh, press the attack. Um, because that got a really big buff recently, and Twitch being pretty much the main user of that ability, like. It's yeah, it's no, it's no, it's a no-brainer. He's probably gonna get banned out every single round this uh, in this series. Looks like Arizona going for a really, uh, I don't know, safe eighty carry with Caitlyn. Mm -hmm. I mean, the amount of range they're gonna have in lane, it's a good first pickup, especially if you don't know exactly what is gonna come out of the next couple of picks from Santa Barbara. So like, yeah, I, I think it was a good choice for them to be able to pick that thing up. It was, I, uh, would, I, I would probably expect something like uh, either K, uh, not Kale, um, Kaisa or uh, honestly, probably maybe like a Tristana to come out of um, UC, uh, UC Santa Barbara. So just to match that. Mm -hmm. But for now, where do you, I mean, Morgan is probably gonna be their support doubtful that she's going to be their mid laner um yeah, though the mordekaiser hover right uh that was interesting it seemed like it was it could have been a hover maybe since we don't really have a whole lot of information on the team could have been a con serious consideration so we might be able to see that later but i like the gragas uh on the side of u of a picking something that's you know so proactive um, against something like the Zack. Uh, I think that's... Uh, ooh. Ooh. And Braum coming out. For Skag, man. So, so just, uh, a little safer for Caitlyn. Have the, uh, have that shield to, you know, protect her from projectiles coming forward and everything like that. And, I don't know, her, his passives gonna be great to help with Peel as well. Now, uh, do you remember that he's not quite as tanky as he used to be? We are playing on patch 8.8, obviously. Um, and so he did lose a little bit of armor in this last patch. So um, I, I'm actually kind of surprised that... Uh, I, I wouldn't be surprised if the last two picks um, from UC Santa Barbara don't, like, maybe try to abuse that. Like, especially in their AD carry, if they could find somebody that might be able to use... Um, <clears throat> It may be like some armor pen to their advantage. It'd be interesting, maybe something like Jin. Sharpening my feathers. Hmm. All right, Zaya being banned out, uh, and then we've also got Rise being banned out from UC Santa Barbara. Yeah, just uh, kind of thinning out both bulls on both sides. I will come back stronger. Let's see. Ooh. All right, I like the uh, I like the gangplank ban as well. Um, we haven't seen any top laners yet, which is kind of interesting. Like, it, it seems like most of the comp is still fairly hidden. There's not really much we can pull out of this just yet. But uh, and the Varus ban that seems more like a targeted pick. So they're really trying to make sure that uh, Can't Carry doesn't have a whole lot in his pocket to be able to use. So one would say that they're making sure that can't carry, can't oh. carry. Oh. Come on, it was really right there. It was right there. All right, there's gonna be a Shen pickup for the side of UC Santa Barbara. A fairly calculated pick. Um, that is gonna be going over onto Liquor Kool Aid. Uh, typically, he's shined fairly brightly uh, when he plays the sort of uh, pushing uh, the, the the pusher tanks mm -hmm. so I like seeing him on this Shen with a lot of uh, split pushing capability both with the ultimate and if you take teleport with that you've got the uh, obviously like double teleport 
advantage there in team fights. So uh, it's gonna be interesting to see how they use that effectively, especially since they've also picked up the Twisted Fate along with that. So their gank potential is going to be massive. Um, looks like Talia is going to finish off the picks over on U of A, following up a uh, possible Cho'Gat pick. Okay. What are you What are you thinking about the team comp so far? Like oh oh and Cogmas, so it's a uh, oh boy, an unconventional protect the Cogma comp. A little bit unconventional, yeah. I mean, you've got the Morgana, you've got the Shen, you've got the Zack. Like, those three can do a pretty good job making sure the, that Kog'Maw can't carry, has enough peel to stay alive. I like the Twisted Fate to be a little bit aggressive in the back line to, to make at least U of A feel a little unsafe. On the other hand, I also do like uh, U of A's comp here, so there's a lot of damage potential, um, especially in the uh, uh, Caitlyn, but also the uh, Talia. Like, I know there were recently nerfs to her Q, which increased the cooldown, but like with that, there's still a lot of power to be had there. Overall, though, very protective comp, trying to make sure that, like, uh, this UC team doesn't get the jump on them, and making sure that if they get in an unfavorable fight, they have a lot of disengage tools. You've got the... Um, uh, Braum Ultimate available, uh, Gragas cask, cask, the Exploding Cask available. Um, so, Talia uh, Wall. Right, Talia Wall as well, to make sure that, like, A, if they uh, catch up to somebody, they're not getting out, and B, if they want to get away, they absolutely can. So, another, uh, mm -hmm. another interesting thing about their comp is a, a lot of just area denial that they have with Caitlyn Traps, um, Cask and uh, Talia Wall being able to zone at the same time. Yeah, um, really, really, you can say the same thing about Rupture. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, yeah, the massive range on that is going to be helpful. Mm -hmm. Well, just you know, trying to walk, forcing forcing them into a smaller choke area to where Rupture is harder to dodge, um, if not impossible. Uh, right, and that's a perfect setup for a lot of things uh, that can actually be done. Um, for, many, for, for pretty much a, a really fantastic combo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, like, I'm imagining, you know, you got the Cho'Gath Rupture into uh, the um, uh, the Brahma Ultimate, right, and into uh, Talia Wall behind, and then all of a sudden, Caitlyn is picking up three, uh, a triple kill. That's that's what I'm imagining right now. But we'll have to see how exactly how they play that. I mean, like, I... Okay, so if we were to look at the two team comps as they stand right now, um, looking at the summoner spells that are grabbed, so you've got the uh, Cleanse on Talia, you've got Heal on Twisted Fate, um, Morgana and Braum both sitting on Ignite. Which teams, uh, which team are you going to give the edge to this round strictly based off of their uh, pick and ban phase? Ah. Uh. I don't know. Talk Based off of it's it's really it's really a hard one, but um, I'm gonna go with Santa Barbara just because I find Kogma to be really ballsy, and we'll see we'll see how well they actually can um, use their ultimates to their advantage to find picks. Um, Dog impersonator right. and liquor Kool Aid just all of a sudden showing up in the same lane at the same time because of a teleport. Um, Stan United, yeah. Yeah, so it's just it that's a that's a really big swing on on a team fight or anything like that, especially if you already have Silvati coming down to uh to help out in the bottom lane. Mm -hmm. Um and I think that's gonna be like the really, really big thing here is like U of A has to be extremely careful of when they decided to engage to engage on uh on UC Santa Barbara because they can be so safe. Like it would almost benefit U of A more. To, uh, to sit back, wait until, you know, 25 minutes when they've got a decent amount of items underneath their belt, and then just sit underneath towers and siege. Like, that is, I think that's the game that they should be playing here, is they should be sitting back, uh, either uh, wait, for, uh, wait for UC Santa Barbara to make a mistake, or... Um, 
you know, again, sit back and try to take towers on their own terms. That's, I think that's how they're going to end up finding success here. Because if they're too trigger happy, that Kog'Maw is going to absolutely shred the front line of uh, U of A. <laughs> yeah. So. I mean, like, but isn't that always the problem of, uh, of, of Pugma? Mm hmm. As it, as it were. <laughs> um, Which is so exciting in and of itself. Yeah, no, my friend just gifted me that skin recently, and I was just like, well, uh, I kind of stopped playing uh, bottom lane, but no, now I guess I'm back into it. <laughs> See, it's a shame that you can't, hey, Riot, take note. Uh, it's a shame that you can't uh, re gift unused skins to other people who might actually use them. Um. <laughs> It's just like a, it's like re-gifting, right? I mean, so if you get a gift at Christmas and you don't want it, you can just wrap it up and give it to somebody else, right? Like, oh man, oh man, are you ready for the, the League of Legends White Elephant skin exchange oh game that you have every Christmas with the rest of the ACEL team? That would be amazing, are you kidding me? <laughs> Alright, maybe I do have good ideas, you know, right, take note. Here we go, ping's coming down, we'll see if we get any invades. Oh uh, yeah, we need to throw TM on that right now. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry guys, Thanks. trademark, you can't take that anywhere. If you uh, have any questions, please refer to our uh, our agents. Um, you can reach them during any sort of business hour. Uh, that is uh, Eastern time, thank you very much. Um, Alright, well cool, we are loading in here onto the rift and everything. Uh, looks like we've got pretty standard um, uh, defensive positioning from every team. So nobody trying to be too brazen here, uh, which is kind of nice to see that sort of temperament. I, I think that I'm not either, either these teams have not played each other uh, often in the <laughs> regular conference, or they are both showing a decent amount of uh, restraint because uh, I know uh, it's been fairly typical of especially uh, these A-style matches to, to see uh, kind of one team think they have the edge and start rushing in on the uh, enemy team trying to raise a little bit of uh, uh, havoc early on. So, oh, uh, now we should uh, probably cover a, a little bit of the uh, keystones that we're seeing pop up across the board. So, Ooh, yeah. So after shock on Gragas, I bet that one makes a lot of sense. Same deal on, uh, on Zach. Um, same deal with the top laners, they're both running grasp, actually. Um, let's see, and then a pause happens. Oh no, it seems like we're having some connection issues. Um, but we're all good. Yeah, let's sorry. see. Uh, I think this gives us a little more time to at least cover this part. Uh -huh. Um, but yeah, so grasp on both of the top laners, uh, I mean, which makes a lot of sense. You've got two top laners that are going to spend a lot of time trying to be in a sort of 1v1 combat uh, for a little bit, bullying each other out. So yes, nobody really has any sort of distance advantage aside from, I mean, the Anguish one has obviously a uh, rupture, which he'll get later, but um, that's kind of the only thing he has. Here's, here's the real question. Does a, does a flying Vorpal spike proc? Grasp of the Undying. No, it does not. Ah, oh, fine. No. What about what about uh, when he's a little bit bigger and he just hits them with uh, regular Vorval spikes and he just has it active? No, he it doesn't work like that either. But yeah. no, why not? It's 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 an on hit. All right. Anyways, it's as we get back into action. <laughs> um, but yeah, no. So uh, yeah, no. It's an on hit, but uh, it doesn't. Um... It doesn't proc on projectiles like that. Mm. Uh -huh. um, let's see. So. Oh. Uh, At any rate, we have some uh, damage going down on Can't Carry as he's. Ooh, put really low. It has to heal. Oof. Yikes. Big, big oof. That was, that was actually fairly scary. I wasn't entirely sure what was happening until it actually was happening, because the amount of damage that Caitlyn was able to put out so early, uh, it's uh, ADC, ADC Nguyen on uh, that Caitlyn there. The amount of damage that Caitlyn was able to put out so early, if you can uh, manage 
to land everything is kind of insane. Also, there's a lot of damage being traded in the top lane. Well, like Meteors might be a little bit trouble having to bust the cleanse. Pulled back by Sylvati. Looks like the case will continue though. Oh, but in though. And Donnie um, Presonator will be the first death here. Sylvati now looking like he's in trouble. Oh, Pops and they'll be able to get everywhere. double buffs over to Meteors. Oof, there and they do. The, yeah, that's the double be double buffs. <laughs> that was uh, that was actually a really good rescue uh, from uh, Gods there, coming in at kind of the twilight hour to save his mid laner. Um, mm -hmm. Also, if we look at them trading in the top lane, this is looking a little bit sketchy for Liquor Kool Aid. Those formal spikes uh, that you were mentioning earlier are doing a lot of work in his health bar. They they may not work the way that I thought they did, but they still work pretty good. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it works for the purpose that they've got. It looks like uh, gods might be coming in a little bit more active Oh, here. the flash oh, coming down. The flash coming in. Yikes. In the mid lane also, a uh, little bit of action, some trading back and forth. People will go fairly low. The Bardley Brian getting the uh, stun landed on him. It will be ABC Nguyen who's dropped fairly low, and that gank will fail. Uh, they will back off, but uh, I think, honestly, uh, God is showing oh, and Silvani is showing back up to jump oh, on the once boy. again, and he does. Yeah, uh, uh, there's the uh, Q landing onto him. Sticky hands will end up spilling the end for Meteors. That is a kill going on over Dog Impersonator. Uh, first kill for UC Santa Barbara, but um, yeah, Meteors just not really expecting another gank there. Um, that was, uh, yeah, I think at this point, Meteor should probably be trying to be a little bit more careful. He was a little bit careless there for a second. Um, he didn't really ward correctly, and... Uh, well, yeah, the, a, yeah. The pink ward, the pink ward there keeping, keeping any sort of vision out of the way. It's like your Kool-Aid just sort of, kind of, trying to go in to bait Anguish one into sticky round, but so might body. lead to him dying. Oh, Silvati, yeah. watch out, buddy! Oh, oh no, it's not enough, the Vorpal Spikes. Uh -huh. Oh, but Silvati, there we go, will end up being by the Anguish one. Now it is with the Kool-Aid, he's also looking fairly low. We'll back off all the way to his tower again back here. And that was a really good 1v2 from Anguish from the Anguish one. The grounds I, wow, UC Santa Barbara is kind of underestimating the amount of damage that uh, can actually come from, especially the Vorpal fight, uh, Vorpal Spike frogs here. Um, oh, and that's now where a lot of the damage is coming from. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, Kool-Aid better watch out, or else he's gonna, he's gonna find himself a tasty Ooh. snack as he Speaking has to which. blow his flash for a flash. Yikes, um, there's a second flash that comes forward. Oof. That's don't. actually... Is it Fridge Flash? Never mind. Yeah, yeah, they, they went Flash for Flash. Don't forget to uh, make sure that you're fast forward all the way, by the way, my friend. Oh, um, yep, yeah, did it. We're good. Alright, now we're good. Now we're cooking with gasoline. As you do have Can't Carry, putting down a lot of damage is Kog'Maw in the bottom lane. Um, Scatman and Nguyen have to be pretty, pretty careful. Knows that Sylvani's there. Oh, but he's but gonna try to get out of it. The ultimate part of the impersonator, though, yeah. Oh, is it enough? I might have too though. soon. No. Yeah, Bartley trying ended up picking up that kill. I mean, at some point, I think he knew that he wasn't gonna get away. He doesn't have flash available still. Not gonna have that for another, uh... Actually, we can't tell the amount of time on that, but it's not going to be for another about 30 seconds or so. Um, oh, so oh, his health. Oh, oh, the flash. Forward from Bartley trying won't end up catching anybody out, but it was oh. a pretty good attempt. ADC Nguyen backs off to safety. Um, they do end up getting the... Uh, they don't get any flashes or anything out of that. Uh, honestly, in that trade, I believe oh. U of A comes out on top. Looks like the Anguish one trying to go for another trade on the Liquid Kool Aid, but that is a lot of damage actually reflecting back to the Anguish one. He decided that the minion wave wasn't going to do too much, and then he had second thoughts. <laughs> it looked like. I mean, not to mention Liquid Kool Aid is kind of doing free damage right there in the uh, in the Don't Hit Me circle. Ooh, As he goes in and finishes the kill off, indeed, just sort of. 
sort of easily with his, um, I don't know, his, his active. Is it his passive that gives him bonus damage? Or is uh, it is his, uh, his passive on the Q. Mm -hmm. uh, or active on the Q. So when you pull it in, you get uh, increased damage for a short duration uh, once you pull your uh, sword to you. So, uh, but on top of that, uh, he had already backed, he had two, uh, long swords against a, uh, cloth armor and a crystalline bracer. Yep, for, now uh, he has a, uh, Tiamat. Uh -huh. That's gonna be really difficult for, uh, the Ancient One to be dealing with. For now, we'll see if there's any, uh, more gank action that'll come up there to, uh, help him out, because now... Um, Liquor Kool-Aid is going to be able to shove for pretty much free for a little while. Um, he's going to open up a lot of opportunities around the map. He hasn't used his ultimate just yet, but uh, if there's anything oh. happening on the bottom side, you can see probably something happening there. Uh, looks like, yeah, on the top side, again, more, uh, more, uh, skirmishing. Ooh, the God King. Ooh, he snuck Looking in. They don't know he's there. No idea, no wards in the brush, nothing there. Uh, so let's see if they let the wave push forward so that they can get a better opportunity. Or if Bardley trying, oh. Still waiting for it? All right, Skagman flashes out with the heal from his ADC. Uh, he gets out a little bit, but now from behind, oh. looks like Dog and Persinator are coming in for a little bit of action. Ooh, in the top lane, Liquid kool tried to come in, but gets stopped. Who gets Savati shows who up? Who gets pulled back into the turret? A kill going over to Savati. Meanwhile, on the bot side, you still have Bartley trying, trying to pick up something onto ADC Nguyen, but all three members of U of A will back off to safety. Uh, now they're shoved underneath the tower. Are they going to be able to protect this though? I don't know. Yeah. It's, it's looking, it's looking really dangerous for a uh, top and bottom turret right now. Yeah. Ooh, the Dog King. But God, God, King, is... uh, God the King, trying to do something. Uh, now three members. Yikes! Dog impersonator ends up slaying God the King. Yeah. Uh, he goes down to a, a few. So dog impersonator now going golden will be picked off by meteors. Looks like Barbie Double Shrine kill? is going to be next in the carnage. Uh, meanwhile, on the top side, Anguish one looks like he's in trouble yet again. Silvati still living up on that top side. Uh, looking for a little bit more action, huh? Back off, but also Liquor Cooler looking not too healthy. I think overall. Uh, oh. oh, the anguished one. The dive. He jumped on again. Oh, Liquor Cooler. Uh, the. Mm, worth it? Worth it? I'm gonna say no. Yeah. Um, or it's even. Honestly, that was that was fairly even. Although you do give the uh, the assist over to Selvati, so no, nah, okay, no, not not uh, not at all equal there. Um, Almost a push. Right. Uh, I mean, the anguish one definitely comes out on bottom on that trade. So, uh, but overall, I think that was actually well executed from the side of UC Santa Barbara, being able to take out that first kill on uh, God Ooh. the King. But it was mostly the top side that really made that whole skirmish worth it. So, uh, I think their bot lane is going to have to be a lot more careful of uh, God the King coming through for ganks. Oh, and the, the root landing from Bardley right. trying on to win. Yep. Uh, the spell oh, shield yeah, deflecting. Like oh. Nguyen coming down, can't carry. Uh, he's picking up the kill on ADC Nguyen. Now it is... Uh, Scatman that's in trouble there drops pretty low isn't quite able to get out the last auto attack will come through for can't carry and he picks off the uh, Arizona support Yikes That uh that black shield putting in work stopping bards uh, or stopping bard sorry Bardley trying's name in the game Stopping Brahms knock up from uh from knocking can't carry into the air right I, honestly, that's what really saved that fight there. Uh, if there had been two more auto attacks, I believe, uh, from ADC win, there would have been a lot more trouble uh, to be had on that bot side. But looks like Can't Carry will continue 
Um, his uh, reign of terror on the front side, actually. Right now, he's 2-0-1, uh, has 97 CS for himself, so he's keeping a decent lead over 18 win. As we it's have, uh, it, is, it is pretty impressive. Like I was I was I was wondering if top lane was gonna turn into like another quick skirmish as we're still right. waiting for first tower to fall. Like uh and it really is, it really is uh Liquor Kool-Aid's tower that, that is in the most danger. Uh knock up landing on him, he's gonna get shouted at here in a second, right? These vorpal spikes are doing a lot of work too. Oh and Tally is showing up. Meteos or meteors coming in meteors. from the lane deep. Cleanse will come out from Meteors as Dog Impersonator tries to do something to uh, <laughs> at least save a little save a little bit of face for his top laner, but it will end up being U of A comes out on top of that two to one and a tower two to zero and a tower. It was just so. getting queued a lot. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's exactly. going up there to get hit by a lot of rocks. <laughs> I mean, hey, up oh, Salati so coming in. Ooh. Pulling wind back in, Scatman with a really, Let's really good. Oh. Yikes! Yeah, Scatman tried to do what he can, but still, body uh, or liquor Kool-Aid coming in from the top side will end up saving Bardley. Trying, uh, and they'll pick up two kills on the bot side in retribution for the carnage in the top lane. Um, they may be able to take Dragon here. Looks like they're going to try to pull out of here, though. Yeah, we'll see if. Uh... See if God King can can get a steal. Can't carry force to flash. The bot side, uh, but Meteor's also <laughs> busted his flash early. Um, also didn't have the cleanse available, so can't carry oh. does come out on top of that. That was interesting. Hey, oh, speaking of come out on top, um, <laughs> they oh, they the did feel the dragon. The, uh, yeah, like that was nice. that was pretty impressive. Ooh, uh, but we've got a little more action happening, so body dropping kind of low. It's like Scatman dropping the glacial fissure. Uh, the Nguyen English one trying to throw the rupture onto three members. Looks like it will be ADC Nguyen, though, that is trapped in the back line. Glowing Dog Impersonator, they'll be able to pick up that kill, no problem. The English one picking that one up. Bartley trying now, dropping very low. The rupture lands on two members. Uh, that is a double kill now going over the Anguish one. Uh, won't be able to pick up anything else though. Jumps onto ADC and win to try to save face. Nothing happens there. So Lottie flashing forward. He's just going to try to run it out. Oh, yeah, but he gets roared at. The fight. Yeah, he got yelled at. He got, he got hey, get back here. Got <laughs> he got screamed at. Like. <laughs> That Joe scene from basically... Harry Potter where the kid gets the howler. Right. Oh man, it, that's exactly what it is. Chogath is actually just a very angry mother, um, and the only reason you ever die is because he's very, very naggy. That's really mm. it. That's what um, it is. He just wants you to clean your <laughs> void room. Exactly. <laughs> hey, there's nothing in here. Um, all right, well, we're returning to the game. We got a, a little bit of pressure now uh, in response uh, from UC Santa Barbara. Actually, you know what? We should probably spend a little bit of time talking about uh, win conditions now that we've had a decent amount of time with these teams and uh, seeing how they're playing these comps. Um, as for University of Arizona, I think that they're playing their win condition fairly well. Um, they haven't given up too much. Uh, at really, they've been able to keep uh, a, a thousand gold lead uh, throughout most of the game, uh, being able to slowly stack up those items. As far as you see Santa Barbara, I'm not totally sure. What's your read on that? Uh, I mean, the last couple of fights that Santa Barbara have had have all of a sudden turned into uh, 4v2s and and just just fights that you know they're they're having oh, a lot of trouble to win. The ultimate. Uh, as Silvati sort yeah. of is forced to channel his way out, um, root landing onto Scatman. Yeah. Oh, it looks like they're Ooh, going the for it. Though. Glacier Fist is dropping on the Kool Aid. <laughs> yeah, Cast landed on a can't carry, pushes them back to the wall, but now it will be God the King dropping. Oh. Uh, meanwhile, though, Silvati ends up being picked up by AC in the win. It is Bartley trying and can't carry that are in danger in the backside, though. Bartley trying to, to weave his way out of it. Uh, will end up poking his head out of the brush, only to get popped down, though. 
can't carry going down as well. The puppy will go barking back to his cage. AD Sweden win is in a lot of trouble here. He can kite backwards. There we go. Uh, there is a double kill going over ADC and Wind, finishing off that top lane skirmish. That is U of A coming out on top of that. Anguish one looks like he's still going for a fight, though. Oof. He was looking yeah. for a snag. He wasn't going for a fight, man. He's just going to nom 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 his way through that. He's looking uh, for some HP. He's looking for a stack. <laughs> okay, all across the board, though, that is a lot of power going over to U of A. They'll take this top tower and bot tower as well, so... It's only uh, mid lane second tier and uh, bot lane second tier that are available right now. Caitlyn getting body being ballsy here oh. though. There's the teleport coming in from the anguish Ooh, one. Now it looks like he's seen the win. Oh, it's not enough. Yeah, it was no. It was pretty good. Meteors now drops in the backside as uh, the anguish one continues chasing in on Tovati. Pops him with the rupture though. Anguished one now dropping pretty low. Not gonna be able to get his way out of that. That is a uh, three for one uh, in favor of the side of UC Santa Barbara. That was a really good way for them to try to turn that what looked like a really bad engage around into actually a beneficial fight for them. Yeah, it just uh, just seemed like a. Well, I mean, at first it didn't seem like a silly overstay. Um, <laughs> then, but then afterwards. Right, guess, it kind of went south. Yeah, no, it was just, it, they definitely probably should have backed after they had finished the, the initial skirmish. Mm -hmm. um, there, was, there wasn't even really anything to push up top four. Um, no, not necessarily. Especially when you have a team that's coming back after just playing. Well, and not to not to mention they're they're so fast to the fight anyways with, with two, two global ultimates. Um, as it stands. Yeah, Maybe. good point. Like all of a sudden all of a sudden you think you're you're safely recalling and next thing you know you've got two members of uh, Santa Barbara on top of you. Okay, some some dude's like doing his David Blaine impression in your lane. <laughs> now you're Asking here now. You're pick a card. Ah <laughs> 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 uh. Uh, see, now we need a, uh, a lion tamer, so we can at least have those one guys that had the lion. I don't remember what their name was, though. Uh, Scatman finding out. Oh, there you go. Yeah, those guys. Uh, all right, so Vadi's going to end up getting his way out of that jungle. It looks like a lot of aggressive vision Ooh. being put down. Ooh, Bartley trying, yeah, having to flash out of that. Uh, so Vadi to... looking to jump in. The oh, key. man, he does end up finding two members. God, the king is going to start... Girding his way backwards, it looks like the ultimate from Liquid Kool Aid coming through. Stand United jumps his way onto God the King. Now it will be Sovati popping that uh, passive now and win, trying to pick up that kill as fast as possible. It would be Meteors who that kill goes over to. This is a free Infernal Drake going over to uh, U of A, unless there's steel. Nope, nothing. Uh, yeah, that's the second Infernal Drake going over to U of A. And that's and that's what I was talking about earlier with like the uh, the denial of, of just zone, like Meteor is just dropping his ultimate and keeping keeping Morgana just on the other side of the wall. All she could do was maybe throw a W and go, no, come closer. I can't hit you with black shield from over there. Right. And it's just <laughs> you know. Like, yeah, and especially there's, because there's they had really already bought place. their. Absolutely, especially because they had already bought. Uh... Since uh, Bardley trying had already popped the uh, their flash, trying to escape, there was no way they could actually get back into the fight to help their team. So um, right now, it's it's looking like the uh, the pendulum is definitely swinging in the favor of UA. They've got that 5,000 gold lead, uh, and let's see what they're doing with it right now. So on on the anguish one, you've already got a fully built uh, war mogs. So you've got what looks like the start of a um, Start of a uh, gargoyle stone plate. Uh, looks like a yeah, uh, jump on now. Yeah, uh, he's trying to go in on can't carry, but Salvati is doing a really good job of keeping him off. Mm -hmm. uh, looks like Bardley trying to be there as well. The Black Shield gonna end up saving his carry. Can't carry. Uh, he's doing a pretty good job of it actually, despite the name. He is. He is trying to uh, trying to be a good boy. 
trying to be a good boy for you, UCSP. He deserves some pats. He deserves, he deserves all the pats. Ooh, you have God the King getting King. ready for this, somebody there getting we go. jumped on, but doesn't really care it's too little, much. It's, it's two fat guys slamming into each other. Yeah, uh, up, I mean, he picks up the little bits of him that falls off. Like, ugh, I guess, <laughs> I guess I can throw that back on. <laughs> this is mine? Sorry, I left this on the ground. Thank you. Um, yeah, uh, I, I think... So, I in the next... Here, let's go this direction. So, what do you think that uh, UC Santa Barbara really needs to get back into this? Because the reality is they are 3,000 gold down right now. Ooh, that was um, a really big crit. Um, mm -hmm. I think... I think that we should like fast forwarding a couple of couple of minutes into this um, nudge nudge. Uh, I'd say that they they probably need to get I don't know a couple of more kills onto onto dog impersonator and maybe like a Kool Aid to get him a little tankier. He's just got Ravenous Hydra and Banner of Command right now. Um, yeah, just just check your check your time and fast mm. forward a little bit. Oh, I got it. No worries. Uh, yeah, um, that would be probably one of the biggest things. Uh, especially since on, uh, ooh, wow, okay, so, a little bit going on. Some fighting in the river, but on the top side, it looks like the English one is, English one is still trying to push in. Uh, God the King gonna get out a little bit, ooh, but it's a, ooh, quite. that was a he good route. Fall. Yikes, see, and that is the damage that I was expecting out of Can't Carry. He does end up picking that kill up onto God the King. Um, oh, and the win now getting caught up. Uh, it will be Scatman trying to prevent his carry from getting taken away. Scatman, though, will be trapped over the wall for a little bit too long. It is uh, Dog the Impersonator, though, made it to the other side of the wall. Now that is the Stand United trying to come oh, through, but somebody is trapped tower in the just did now. so much work. Yikes. Oh, it looks like he's coming in again. Liquor Kool-Aid trying to make his way into the fight force to flash over the wall. Oh. We're in. That is a lot of damage going on to Can't Carry. The flash away, though, will keep him safe. But Can't Carry will respond with a kill of his own onto the top laner of U of A. It is Meteors who's still trying to chase down this kill. Won't be able to find it, though. Uh, that was really well played from U of A. It looked like a completely different fight from the beginning. Well, it was uh, it was just a really impatient. I guess it was. They shouldn't have towered up. Um, no. The the tower just did so much work right there. Uh, I mean, the tower to, itself to, killed really two members. Yeah, of, that's, of their team. It was it was it was just huge. Um, though I did wanna I did wanna shout that nobody was there to protect uh, Scatman when he was taken away. Like he was protecting his Caitlyn as he got just just pulled onto the other side of that wall. That was so that was so just sad <laughs> to watch. I just wanted you know sad what? montage music to accompany it. <laughs> we need to uh, we need to probably make uh, some sort of um, uh, just a sad reel really uh, of like the supports that have died this season to save their carries. Just like a, a quick R.I.P. our supports, you know. Um, and that's going to definitely make the replay. Just so, a that was... <laughs> uh, well, Oh, so Vadi will jump on the back in. line. And Nguyen uh, trying to get out of there, but it, he will actually end up carrying Scatman, forced to flash oh. away. Picked up, though, uh, by Dog Impersonator. Now it is Meteors coming in from the side. Uh, tosses down the Talia wall. Now Silvati flashes on two members of U of A. Gets dropped pretty low, though. The pass will be popped. Flash forward from God the King uh, will actually end up spelling his own death. Liquor Kool-Aid is now the target of the attack. The barrage will end up landing on him, taking him out. Uh, now the ultimate being channeled uh, from ADC Nguyen. Won't end up picking up a kill on the can't carry, but uh, we'll chase him off the rest of the way. So, yikes, a slot, another third, sloppy fight. Uh, you and third will break as well going over in Arizona. And this is part of the reason that U of A is doing so well in these fights. That's the mm -hmm. third Infernal Drake. That's a 30% increase on their damage. That's the, yeah. Uh, that's, oof. Yeah. I mean, that's going to be hurting. Oh, Bardley trying. Uh, getting out here. He's trying to find Meteors in. Oh, it looks like Gaga Personator. 
Yeah, Meteor's being caught out there, doesn't have the ultimate to get away, so uh, gets picked off. It's unfortunate, but uh, don't think it'll be too much to uh, dissuade uh, U of A from maintaining this uh, this front that they've got built on uh, the mid lane. So, they might uh, be actually looking for, uh, since they've got one member picked off, it could be UC Santa Barbara looking for this Baron. They've got four members dedicated, and Liquor Kool-Aid is on the bot side shoving. He does man. have the Stan United available. Oh, Scatman, where are you? Oh, no, no, Scatman had a really cheeky, uh, cheeky pink word drop to stop them from clearing his other one that he had on Baron. Uh, Salvati so coming, that's actually pretty good. Uh, yeah, Salvati so coming through, it looks like the root will end up landing on the Scatman though. Ooh, God, the ultimate. King, uh, has to back off. There is the, uh, Stan United coming through for Liquor Kool-Aid. Alright, won't mean a whole lot. Uh, now the disengage from U of A will end up saving them. That was a pretty good disengage, uh, and I like actually the response time out of Liquor Kool-Aid. That was a really good time to be able to come yeah, um, I don't think, luckily, well, I mean, I guess they realized that Kogma was in there, they had vision of the bush, but they had no way to really react onto him being knocked up into there. Uh, right. Maybe the father uh, lord saved him. But you, you're right, that, that was, he, he was immediately altered by Liquor mm -hmm. Kool-Aid, it felt like. Which, I mean, like, is exactly what Liquor, I think Liquor Kool-Aid is actually playing this game very, very well, despite what's been uh, happening to the rest of his team. Um, I mean, overall, I think his performance has been the best on UC Santa Barbara, but um, I hope King, it's going to be King enough. carries right there. Can't, can't carries right over there. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like the Kog'Maw's sort of, sort of falling out of control right now. He's, uh, he's, he's working on finishing his, uh, his play with Rune King. For his, for his next item, and then, then he'll really almost be full build. Only have his door inside him left. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, he's still got a hold of that. Uh, I think overall, he's making a pretty good use of this. What do you think will happen uh, when, because inevitably what's gonna happen is these teams are both gonna hit pretty near level 18, right? Uh, what do you think we can expect looking at uh, 40 minutes into the game. Six item Caitlyn's gonna get a pentakill because she has 30% <laughs> extra damage from three infernal drakes. Yeah, that infernal drake is- Like, that, that's, that's, it, if this game kind of tills out to six items to six items, it's gonna be, I don't know, they'll have to, they'll have to get a pick and will, will they, will University of Arizona position themselves to let their ADC get picked? Right. It's gonna be difficult, but it looks like the Anguish one is going in for a little bit of action on um, Liquor Kool-Aid. Meteor's throwing down the wall to block any sort of retreat. Liquor Kool-Aid has him flash over the wall. Looks like Dog Impersonator oh, and no. can't carry uh, forced to flash away. Uh, Liquor Kool-Aid will come in with that really solid Stand United. Will save his carry uh, from what would have been a, a, a sure death. Um, but yeah, see, it, it's things like that that are kind of letting uh, UC Santa Barbara get run over. Um, they have to be really careful if they uh, let uh, U of A jump onto their carries like that again. But um, we'll see if they're able to make anything else happen. Anguish cool it. Oh, Anguish oh, one dropping man. really low at the blast wave. Can't carry picking up the kill on there. Looks Baron. like U of A forced to retreat off the Baron, but they're not going to. They're going to try to stick it out and smite it away, but it looks like it will actually go over with Liquor Kool-Aid. Liquor Kool-Aid now dropping pretty low in the pit. Uh, so Body comes in to try to rescue. That is a double kill going over the Dog Impersonator. So Body flashes Ooh. away. That is a triple kill for Dog Impersonator and a clean ace uh, going over to the side of University of Santa Barbara. Yikes! That was rough. That, that was, was really rough and really well executed too. Mm -hmm. I just I don't think that uh, anguished one expected to lose that much health. But I mean, can't see, can't carry is about. ready to shred like his W in Ginsu's. Um, just uh, he probably yeah he had his blade of the Rune King finished for that too. So yeah, yeah so he's, he's still down a lot. He's ready. 
And see, that's what I was talking about earlier is when we were talking about this Kogma, right? Is that if they allow, if University of Arizona allows uh, can't carry to sit on top of their tanks, their tanks will melt. Like, that is not a question. It doesn't matter how many uh, Infernal Drakes that team has. If there's no damage on the can't carry, can't carry will bleed through uh, those tanks. Well, so. but that wasn't, that, that, you know, that wasn't even a fight. That was just can't carry getting to punch at a, a punching bag for essentially free. As <laughs> Anguish one tried to run away for his, for his life. Right, but, I mean, looking at, in okay, so, looking at hypotheticals, right, if, uh, UC Santa Barbara happens to get a pick onto, uh, we'll say ABC Nguyen, right? Mm -hmm. They pick off ABC Nguyen. Now you've got a 4v5 uh, situation with can't carry. There's really just three tanks sitting on the side of U of A. Oh, but uh, we'll get back to that later. God the King can jump on, forced to flash underneath the wall. The stun lands on him, but it looks like, uh, yeah, it's a contested Drake here, uh, Salvati jumps over the wall to safety. This Drake will end up going over, that's the fourth Drake, by the way, over to uh, University of Arizona. Oh, and um, that's a cloud Drake, too. Mm -hmm. So that's okay. gonna mean a lot of mobility. Though Chad does have a really good point. Not, Kogma, they're not really built for Kogma from a, from a defensive standpoint. That is a pretty good point. Um, it looks like they're primarily been, uh, trying to build against Dodger first. Is that what the point was? I, I I'm not I'm not sure what the exact point was. It was just they're not they're not built to stop Kogma's damage. Yeah. Um, and and so yeah, he's he's just gonna get to sort of run wild for free. Uh, the right. Yeah, so Giovanni. Funny. Is not gonna die though. It looks like a kill will, however, go over and I can't carry. Can't carry is wreaking a havoc on the uh, front line of this University of Arizona team. Hardly trying, will land the oh, a really good bind onto the carry from Arizona, but it won't quite be enough. Can't carry now running in underneath the tower picks up two kills for himself uh and that is a really really dead team on the bot side meanwhile on the top side anguish one but desperately trying to make sure liquor kool-aid can't do anything to this tower uh but it's actually going to be can't carry and team going in on the nexus and that is going to be game there you go game number one uh in the back room UC santa barbara yeah you see santa barbara's uh <laughs> Get, get some dog treats over for, for Can't Carry on Pugma <laughs> for that one. He was a good boy. <laughs>